Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. It's been a considerably long time since my last video. I'm doing a bit of an experiment today, something you might find entertaining. I've never seen one before, so I thought I'd build one. But on the way there, I'll show you the antenna farm as, of, as it is now. This antenna is the 40 meter dipole. The elements are running that way at this time, and the other two are guy ropes. This antenna is my 80 meter dipole, which you all hear me on. And the elements run that way, that's an element. The other element, the other element goes to the tree right over there. This is my quarter wave vertical. Fantastic on 20 meters. But what we're here for today is something a bit different. Today, I'm trialing my paperclip antenna. For this, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the body pole center, just for its ease, really. I'm using the rotating arm kit to, to fashion them on, if you like. And this is gonna be running this way as well, that way and towards the red patch. So here we go, it's all together. It's about to go up in the air. Let's see what the results are. Stand by. Right, let's see how we get on. I want to scan SWR and I want it to be on 40 meters. Oh, not very good. Let's see how far it is the other way. Oh, I've got a dip. I practically wasn't really expecting a dip even, but. That's not good. So and it's still got, it's a bit um it's a bit long. But let's just see what it is actually there. Rubbish. Rubbish. This might possibly be to do with um there's lots of metalwork in the garden and the actual I think it's the hot element that runs about about two meters away from the lamppost, so potentially that's what's given us some grief. But you can see the antenna out there. Focus. It's not too high, it's at 16 feet. But the lamppost is there, so we'll see. Whatever happens, I will have a QSO on it, even if I have to tune it. But I do really want a nice dip I can use without an ATU. And this is just the uh, the trial, if you like. This is only the 40 meter, but I've built it. I've, built, I've got enough uh, links made to put up there for 80 meters. So if this works and I get this down and I work out why I haven't got a decent dip, then uh, fingers crossed I'll have it below 1.5 by the end of today here and maybe tomorrow if I get time or tonight I'll put it on 80 meters and try and get the uh, the SWR hopefully below 1.5 but it's all a laugh isn't it? Isn't it part of the fun of the hobby? Just using all of the body, po body pole parts this is one of the um, guy ropes and you can see this it was a bit long and I took this much off of one side I'm about to match that up with this side to take the equal amount off Right, let's see what's happened. I've made it slightly shorter by about five inches on each side. Uh, oh no, my dip has gone. Oh, if, if that was just all that would have been needed to bring it up to about here, about seven, about there somewhere, seven, one oh two. But Oh, that's a bit rubbish. Or well, perhaps that is the answer. Antennas made out of paper clips do not work. Good. I was really looking forward to a. Well, no, there is a dip actually. That wasn't there a minute ago. Oh, that's nearly usable. Got a 2.5. 2.5 all the way down to. Oh, well. 2.5 all the bit that I need. Oh, 
Oh. So now potentially, oh no, there we go. I've made it slightly too short. I'm just going to go and add on five paper clips each side. Five paper clips each side, and we'll see what happens with this curve. It would be nice to get it down lower. But it's below three. I'll be able to tune it. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go. I tell you what, let's just see. Let's just see what is on, on that part of the band right now. Because if it if it's ain't there now, I'll use it now. Stand by. For a bit of a fluke. There's somebody on there, right where I've got my biggest dip. Yeah, thanks very much. It's um, Mike Zero, Victor Sierra Tango. M0 VST, over. Yeah. yeah, okay, you're 5859, 5859 into London. Name's Barry, and uh, the call is Gold Zero, Bravo, Julia, Metro, over. Yeah, okay, Barry, thanks very much for the uh, 5859. Sorry for bumping in there, It's um, I haven't got a lot of time, and it's just a really, really quick test. My antenna that I'm using at the moment is made out of paper clips, over. <laughs> no, there's no dreadlocks, but there is um, probably about 600 paper clips, over. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Wow. No, I'm using it on a 16 foot mast. Um, it's not too high, and the elements come down to about about four feet, four feet. I've put a photograph on um, my website, which is m0vst.co.uk, under projects. But today is the actual first time. It's been uh, not windy enough, and not so windy, and it's been dry enough for me to put it up. But you're a great signal as well. You're a five and nine plus on the uh, paperclip antenna, over. Yeah, okay, give me a quick break on the name. Okay, it's Mark. Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo, over. Yeah, go again with the call. And that is Mike Zero. Victor Sierra Tango, M0 VST, over. Yeah, and your name, your name, over. Yeah, that is Mark, Mark, like Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo, over. Yeah, okay, Mark, well, I'll have to have a look. I'll have a look. Okay, seven threes, it's working. And I'll speak to you again soon, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> I love it. Uh, VST, yeah, very quickly, mate. Um, you're, um, I, I think it's about five and nine. So, uh, I think so. Uh, I'm not sure what you was using. I can't stay too long because I'm going to have the trouble and strife. going to wring my neck very shortly if I don't go out there. I've been in here too long. Uh, go ahead, mate. Uh, VST, G0AWV. Yeah, OK. Uh, G0AWV. This is M0VST. I'm using a half-wave dipole, but it's made out of uh, paper clips. Over. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, you need to get that published somewhere on Amateur Radio News. So, uh, fantastic, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Now, that's an experiment and a half. You need to get plenty of pictures of those, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Yeah, the power output is about 20 watts, 20 watts, and it's about 600 paper clips. It's probably about 300 odd each side. And I, I'm, I'm making a video actually right now, but I've took a few videos and I've, I'm going to show the plot on, the, on an analyzer to show it. And I'll put a video on YouTube and you'll be able to find that from looking me up on QRZ. And the call sign is M0VST, over. Yeah, roger that, Mark. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I'll tell you what, um, when, you, uh, when you get it done, drop us an email. Uh, just get my email off QRZ.com. Uh, send us an email and um, uh, let me know, give me a link or, or something where I can view it. That would be uh, fantastic. Uh, tell you what, you're 5 and 9 with me. Uh, no problem at all, great signal. Mark, I've got to run mate, I hope you don't mind. Um, I wish you best 7-3. Don't forget to, uh, I, I would love to see that, so just drop us some info to my email address. 7-3 Fernando Mark, m 0 vst g 0 Alpha Whiskey Victor off and clear. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, G zero AWV. This is M zero VST. Also signing. Thanks very much for the uh, antenna test. Bye bye. Yeah, Roger that. The name is Rick, by the way. Romeo and Charlie Kilo. Seven three, Mark. Bye bye, Rick. That is this piece of coax. A piece of coax going out the window. It's going out to the mast over there, and the elements are paper clips.
just to confirm, this is the coax coming out of the window. And it's going up to this mast, which is the 12, uh, sorry, 16 foot mast you get with a buddy pole. We'll just follow this element down. You ready, chaps? You thought, I was, you thought I was taking the mickey? I am taking the mickey. I'm five and nine into London. And my antenna is made out of paper clips. And that's how high it is off the ground. Uh, to, that is about four foot this side. And it's probably about four foot the other side as well. And the SWR, I think, it was 2.5. Really, really high. But the tuner on the, uh, on the IC7400 managed to pull it flat. And the power output for that test was 20 watts. Excellent stuff. I'm going to build a huge one. Well, it worked. I managed to make two QSOs on a dipole that's made out of um, paper clips. So I have two thanks to those two, uh, two guys there. And a big thanks to all my subscribers and uh, friends that I've made on YouTube. I do appreciate your guys' uh, support and uh, the subs do help. So I probably try not to leave it too long till next time, but thanks very much for watching the video. And um, maybe you might build yourself a paperclip dipole. Take care from M0VST.